So a week or so ago, I got a comment in the comment section that I'm going to be addressing now. This is going to be new series uh, just because of that comment. You'll hear me. You'll see me. So uh, Adrian Twarovsky, <laughs> his comment was, uh, sorry, uh, this series is de de dedicated to him, uh, just to uh, prove him, myself, whatever wrong. It's a start of realistic series anyway. Um, potentially, it's only going to be five to ten episodes. We'll see how we're going to go uh, in the future after that. But um, this is I'm going to make in next week, may potentially two weeks, um, uh, just the beginning of the new series in realistic mode, uh, beginning of the city or your game in the realistic mode. I'm going to go step by step. I won't be skipping any time. We're going to be potentially speeding up time, but uh, I won't be cheating any money in loans we'll see it's going to be easier than before um, because i'm not going to be building radio station i'm going to be building power plant we're going to go with the basic infrastructure it's going to be basic it's realistic mode it's everything that you're going to need just minus the power plant and uh, yeah I, I don't know what else we'll, we'll see how it goes so adrian uh, twarovsky commented 11 days ago sorry but this is simply impossible that only with foreign workers like 20 30 of them on the border you build entire one thousand 1500 people city with all its buildings in two years in realistic mode it's actually one year and three months dennis already did this uh fb frankie if you're here <laughs> if i forget again you can put them the link to them dennis's series as well he made the first one these series that the dennis show uh channel he made a series uh f first one at least that i watched that um realistic mode uh how you can build a city and all that good stuff um I'm gonna do it as well now. This is just gonna be building a city. Um, we'll see what I'm gonna do after that. If you guys or myself, more more importantly, if I uh, con consider, if I think that I would like to continue doing this, uh, continue with the series, yeah, I'm gonna continue with the series. We're gonna develop this beautiful map. And the map is called Fort Selkirk on Yukon. Fort Selkirk on Yukon, and um, it's a, it's another hard map. It's not easy. It's it's not hard map. It, it's a decently um, challenging map uh, ish whatever it's a map it's a beautiful map and i'm gonna play it we have a couple of resources all over the place uh, some iron as well they're not close to each other there's coal i think i'm gonna go for that we'll see how that's gonna work out for us uh, oil we have some oil but it doesn't matter we, we're gonna we're gonna develop a city first without any resources we we don't need any resources and anyway so it's gonna be classical leaky uh, series we're gonna go for intro um, intro is gonna be uh, I don't know five ten minutes ish then we, I'm gonna do 20 minutes recording of the time lapse where we're gonna be doing most of the construction this is just so the time progresses you know a little bit faster I'm gonna be using grid I'm gonna be using the heck out of grid it's gonna be the grittiest thing ever not really I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best but there's no um, infrastructure already in place so it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna do my best now I'm gonna talk about initially I'm gonna talk about uh, what needs to be done when you want to build a city in realistic mode my suggestions one of the bottlenecks that I considered that I resolved ish a bit um, would be the gravel gravel is a big thing gravel is uh, we're gonna go for a couple of gravel storages unfortunately gravel storage is under conveyor belts who put it there that's outrageous i wouldn't put it there i wouldn't put it on i will i would put it there as well but um i would put gravel under the storage rather than than where where these guys decided to put it so what you need to do consider when you're building um when you're building uh the city in realistic mode you really need to consider your your resources i can see here that i built this one a little bit too long let's go and build it all over again a little bit shorter one two three this one is four is this one gonna create problems as well why is this one not creating problems and this one is doesn't matter it, 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 this is temporary construction anyway so these are two storages for gravel we can click that we're gonna store gravel but we're only gonna store gravel so it doesn't matter the most important thing that you're gonna need here and uh, in the beginning you need to supply this before you supply anything it's fuel Fuel is going to be the most important thing in first couple of seconds. And I'm not kidding. Like, literally, you need to get this fuel before any other vehicle arrives. Because I'm going to put a little bit longer like this. And the opposite side is going to be 
the distribution office, of course, free distribution office. We can't really afford to build anything on this map. And distribution office has to have a oil truck. Just this is again Dennis's. This is what I learned from Dennis. At least if somebody else used it before, I don't know. Dennis was uh, the one that I saw it in his episodes. Um, you you go for a big you go for a big truck. You're gonna need it. Um, also, this is on my side. Uh, dumper trucks. I'm gonna go for dumper trucks straight away. Black ones. Why the hell not? Just b two big black, big the biggest black dumper trucks you ever saw. These are the um, the uh, BZ 252s. They have 25 ton capacity. Uh, we need to wait for the oil to arrive to the border crossing. Uh, sorry, to the distribution office. Can I go to more than this? No. So. Setting up import of fuel, uh, deliver here, oh no, that's export, my bad. So import of fuel, uh, put it to 40%, that's perfectly fine, and he's gonna go away and uh, slowly start to work. Okay, the second thing you're gonna need to do is your construction office. We're gonna use all seven of them, seven construction offices. You have all of this, there's a shorter version of this. Uh, I, I already created this video, it's like, 20 minutes long or something uh, but people don't believe I made it <laughs> people don't believe that it's possible but hey ho what can I do I'm gonna do um, uh, seven construction offices here I'm gonna repeat um, I think exactly the same thing that I did there so you can't really expect anything uh, don't expect anything special but potentially it's gonna be start of a new series so uh, oh, that's not it. We need the construction. We need a more construction. Now, first, like, 10 days, and I'm not kidding, like, first, like, 10 days, you're gonna have crap, crap load of um, uh, refueling. A lot of your vehicles are gonna be refueling the crap out of, well, themselves. Uh, so, I'm gonna go and give them straight away that they can go to the border crossing. Oh, unfortunately, when the rain starts to fall initially, it's always really bad. Okay, so we have uh, seven construction offices. Don't send vehicles still because we still don't have a fuel into a fuel. We didn't deliver fuel into a fuel station, so you know that's gonna take time. Uh, but what you can do now, until we wait for the fuel first fuel to arrive, go and set up your storage facilities. Storage facilities will be for the open, open storage, open cargo, open. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna be building four of these without the road connections. I'm gonna be building wonky road connections because I want to upgrade these roads soon-ish as possible. Yeah, let's, let's go with soon-ish as possible. Um, so I can I can uh, limit them because they're gonna be a little bit more complicated to load, which is gonna require another uh, distribution office that uh, we're gonna take straight away. Distribution office again, greedy, greedy, greedy work, greedy. Greedy game, greedy game. Uh, we're gonna need open hulls here. We're gonna need open hulls. One, two, three, four. There's no rush with these guys. That's all fine. But these here, this is important. They need to refuel the crap out of themselves. There, it's fine now. We have first fuel delivered. We have 12 tons of fuel, trucks. Uh, these guys are actually running on empty. Uh, but they're gonna be refueled soon enough. They're gonna deliver gravel soon anyway. Now, this is where we can pause. We can pause initially and uh, set up or uh, set up everything else. So I'm gonna set this up now. I'm gonna explain everything like I did in that previous video. Um, if I linked it in the description or the comment section, it's there. If not, just search the channel. It was two weeks ago that I made the video, so you can do it again. But what you're gonna need here, first of all, uh, auto search. That's fine. You're gonna need this. There's no source uh, for any of these vehicles, so that's fine. Let's go with dumper trucks. I'm gonna go for the Tatra ones. Tatras are really beautiful. Black ones again. Uh, what's better than big black? Well, truck, truck. We are talking about trucks here. Big black truck over here as well. Uh, that's gonna be four dumper trucks and four dumper trucks. Go straight away for four. Um, uh, concrete mixers. So if we go for concrete mixers, uh, again, the big black concrete mixers, four of them as well. Okay, so these are like uniformed, um, uh, uniform vehicles that we're going to be using here. We have two more, two more. Uh, the last two are going to be just buses because this is how Wuliki rumbles. This is how the cookie crumbles. This is how Wuliki does stuff. So uh, one of them is going to be just for, let's say, roads. And for roads, you only need bulldozers. We're going to be using only gravel roads. Initially, you don't need anything better than that. You're going to need two Stalinets bulldozers, two of them. 
Uh, cover, oh sorry, open house, we're gonna go open house, this is gonna be for every single construction that you're gonna be using, initially, initially, but um, uh, you, you'll see, first thing we're gonna construct is actually a, a proper construction offices, but uh, yeah, and then we're gonna phase these ones out, but um, the second thing you need to do, so two bulldozers, we already ordered them, uh, two bulldozers and two uh, open hull trucks. Here, you need to go for one cover hull truck, you're gonna need that as well, and one open hull truck, and you're gonna need two excavators. Excavators are gonna be ex uh, also important, so uh, just a heads up, two excavators. That's it, that's all the vehicles you're gonna need. Uh, this is how the setup works. So. Um, let's have these vehicles refueled, um, no need to build anything at the moment, we need to these vehicles refueled, they're gonna slowly come here, you see that there's enormous amounts of vehicles waiting to go off the, from the border, uh, some of them are refueling, soon enough this guy's gonna bring more fuel because we're gonna be, I told them 40%, should I give him 50%? Yeah, let, let's have him deliver more fuel as soon as possible. Now all of these vehicles that you see here, they're all gonna go back and refuel, so that's gonna create a big, big mess over here so just a heads up i'm gonna go and limit the amounts uh, to 100 percent to these there's a lot of work to be done um like these little things that i really don't want you to have to look at this that's why i made a shorter video to explain how you can build uh how you can build in realistic mode city within a year i i believe i believe that this one is going to be within a year so march next year uh but um but we'll see so this is i found it impossible to avoid this refueling session refueling session will always happen whatever you have start this game on realistic mode uh, you're gonna have a refueling session you're gonna have to buy vehicles you're gonna have to construct your own crap and you're gonna have to refuel them all so no rush don't stress about it it needs to refuel um, there is a little bit of rush if you're gonna start with farming straight away but maybe you don't have to push the first year you don't really have to push the first year uh, these little profits that you can actually make by pushing the first year it's um it's it's not worth it it's, it's gonna be minimal um, uh, profits you can just get the crops you wouldn't be able to build the rest of the city you wouldn't have workers to process it i did not find uh, the best way to start with crops and uh, to be extremely profitable or at least even to be satisfied with uh, how everything is going now bear in mind that these are all free buildings we can reuse them reuse them we can do whatever we want with them okay now our our little offices are getting a, a kind of visualization of what we're gonna have here i'm gonna finish this one two three and i'm gonna go for road cranes you need to have three three um three uh, vans and uh, uh one crane you should know by now if you're following this channel why is that one two three if not uh, dennis is the one who made a video explaining this eye-opening mind-blowing video what it means uh, real okay i'll do it i'll do it real quickly so the road cranes this uh, speed that you see here on the bottom of the road crane 23 that means how many people are helped with this road crane if you have more than 23 people uh, on the construction site and only one of these road cranes only 23 people are working five and a half times faster uh, working for five and a half people any more people than that they're just working one person for one person so crane this crane only uh sp speeds up the um construction for 23 people not more than that Okay, we're clearing the petrol station, as you can see, but you can see that oh, the, the second batch of vehicles are now slowly coming uh, here to deliver stuff. I'm going to go and tell these guys, you need to go to the border crossing, just deliver this, 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 and this. And that unfortunately needs to be unloading and not loading. And I have no idea why this game is so messed up, why I can't cooperate with you and, um, you know, just... just work along with you not against you but most of the time it's against you so we uh, started constructing we started constructing uh nothing uh the, the, we started delivering all this gravel do we have gravel here yes we do uh this needs to go to a hundred percent ninety percent those are the uh, the gravel this needs to be as full as possible uh, we also selected two of those because uh, we need a minimal amount of vehicles to go to the border crossing as possible okay now the final thing i'm going to do before we do a time lapse i'm going to be assigning all these vehicles to their respectable um whatever they, they're going to be assigned before we start constructing anything straight away i'm going to tell you the construction offices here uh the 
uh, uh, the buses, these last two, they're not, they don't need anything. They're only going to need, uh, from the border crossing, they're going to need the gravel, sorry, they're going to need workers from the border crossing. Um, I'm going to do that. Oh, should we do it straight away? There's a trick we need to do, but uh, let's talk about it later. Um, I'm going to assign them all. So these dumper trucks, they have only two resources they're going to deliver. Dumper trucks need gravel. We're going to go for gravel and uh, asphalt. Asphalt has to be from the border crossing. There's no way you can create asphalt on realistic mode on your own. So second one is going to be gravel from a different source and then asphalt from the border crossing. Yay, there we go. We're working. Uh, concrete mixers can only deliver concrete. Get them from the border. This is going to be a little bit trickier. These are the bulldozers and open haul trucks. Open haul trucks can only deliver open haul stuff, but there's a lot of open haul stuff. Steel bricks. Bricks are these ones because I have so much experience playing with this. I'm just gonna do this and confirm. So we have uh, steel. Um, steel is the first one. Yes. The second one is prefab panels. Yes. I think I signed everything correctly here. Now we have again open haul truck over here that needs to help with open haul stuff. I'm gonna do the same here. Steel first bricks bricks is third one i don't know why but uh, this is how the game decided that in here it's going to be second one but then here in the storage is going to be actually third one that we need anyway uh bricks we have prefab panels is here and the last is boards all the way here there we go uh are we missing something yeah we're missing stuff we're missing here uh these guys here need to have the mechanical components assigned on the border crossing and the electrical components assigned at the border crossing because this is the only place where we can get those. Okay, so uh, what I would do as a little, uh, I'm gonna pause this for a second. What I would do now as um, OCD stuff that you're gonna have a lot of problems with uh, is this mud road over here. It's so annoying, this mud road that connects you to the border. Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not because we have three connections. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a time lapse. Uh, first thing that we're gonna connect, uh, construct here. I'm gonna be using mods, by the way. Uh, usually they're more expensive than vanilla ones. Sometimes yes, sometimes not, but um, I'm gonna be using mods in these series. Initially, I don't really even have to. It's just I don't like vanilla buildings. Uh, any building like residential that I'm gonna be constructing is gonna be more expensive. It's mostly gonna be Rob's ones or some new ones, but they are all of the buildings that I'm gonna be using are more expensive than vanilla ones, so they're not cheap at all. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is what you need to do when you start this, you need to construct your first construction offices. So a lot of work that we're going to be doing initially is going to be, um, uh, we're going to be uh, graveling the heck out of this place. We're going to be constructing our first construction offices, it's 3rd of April, around two weeks after we started this game. And uh, I think, I think that could be maybe it. Are you delivering other stuff or only steel? Yeah, it looks like they started with steel, but that's fine. We, we are not in rush because most of the initial work is going to be groundwork, which is gravel, asphalt and concrete. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be building three or four, four or five construction offices over here. And uh, then we're going to go focus on the, uh, uh, planning the city. Okay, that's going to be a time lapse. That's a cue for me to uh, tell you that we're going to see each other in five-ish minutes. 20 minutes for me. Uh, speed is 400% uh, faster than usual. Anyway, see you in five.
Right, okay, here we go. It's 20th of May, that's one month into this um, series. Um, and I think we set up most of the stuff already. Uh, we have construction offices. I think I forgot one. I don't know how that's possible. I don't usually forget stuff. That's incredible, unseen. I think we need more construction offices, but this is even fine. Like, initially, I don't need footpath construction office. I don't need road construction office. Well, actually, road, I'm gonna need road construction office, and it also can be a smaller one, so I can just reuse some of these smaller ones. So, we usually, Uliki does the uh, the following dumpers. Uh, dumper 1, uh, we have dumper 2, so uh, let's name that one as well. Oh, no, dump 2, let's go with dump 2, not at all. Uh, dump, dump, dump. Dump one and dump two. We have groundwork, uh, ground, uh, groundwork, and we have the delivery or transport. I don't know. I usually call it transport. Trans, trans. Let's call it trans. So transport would be just for transporting stuff. Uh, like you know, the same as we had here. We can just have more vehicles. So steel is from here. Bricks are from over here. Prefab panels. You can see them now where they're coming from. And um, uh, these are from here. And mechanical components uh, need to go from the border crossing. And the other one is from the border crossing. Of course, dumper trucks. Um, the, the dumper trucks. Uh, they have the gravel. We're gonna go number one from here, asphalt from here, and that's it, nothing else. Then we have again the second one, gravel from the lower one, and asphalt from the border crossing. By the way, you need to tell them what they are allowed to do, what they're not, because they're not supposed to be constructing footpaths, uh, because these dump big dumper trucks are only for constructions, roads, you know, all that stuff that uh, requires asphalt and concrete and the rest of it. Uh, three kilometers, everything, that's fine. Let them construct whatever they need to from here, and then we have... Uh, I think that's done. That's uh, number one done, and I think number two done as well, right? Um, did I unselect footpaths? No, I didn't, and I set them for three kilometers. Road, yes. Buildings, yes. Conveyor, pipe, engine, uh, electrical wiring, yes. Groundwork. Groundwork needs to be working on absolutely everything except footpaths as well. Oh, oh, and roads uh, and factory connections. We have to have a road construction office to work on the roads and factory connections. Uh, three kilometer range and uh, groundwork has no resources, no resources, zero. They only gonna have uh, uh, excavators. Uh, oh, they do, they do. My bad. It's concrete. Concrete trucks are gonna be here. That's gonna be from the border crossing. We can start straight away because you can see that all the is this groundwork? Yes, it is. So all the vehicles from here, new home. Voila done and then we have the transport transport like we mentioned they're uh, gonna transport be transporting everything so these vehicles from here that are not using anything i can just give them transport here they need to three kilometers they can go anywhere they want they will not be working on footpaths at all roads they will be working on roads footpaths is going to be separate uh, anything else i can do here no i can continue building these uh, high priority um, roads can be constructed with uh, with a road construction office from here uh, they can do it it's just a couple of bulldozers I can like because I'm gonna have a lot of empty construction with these small construction offices I can do whatever I want with them but initially dumpers I think the, I, I just have to pull it like a band-aid and just uh, risk it because a lot of trucks if I tell them to go here I can do one by one this is something that Uliki likes to do a lot of micromanagement I don't know who who doesn't like micromanagement here let's go for number two over here you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy straight away more of these dumper trucks because this is the reason why we uh, did this uh let's go for two more dumper trucks uh one and two there we go and now i'm gonna go and empty dumper trucks okay uh you know what i, I don't know which ones i sent them where so why are they going empty Ah, there are new ones, so yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, you can see here that uh, we are slowly progressing our construction area. Um, I think... I, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I'm not squeezing everything in like I usually like to do. Um, but I think it's gonna... I, I hope that it's gonna work fine. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Where are our excavators? Excavator one working here. The second one, I bet that we need one over here as well. Yeah, look at this one. Uh, high voltage cables already delivered. Everything is delivered. Yeah, I, w w this is progressing quite nicely, I have to say. I'm actually quite... Uh, which one was it? 
Uh, oh, cables, right? Yeah, okay, cables. We can assign the uh, construction office, prioritize it so they can construct these cables. Uh, over here, we only need the steel and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's being delivered, and the second one can go over here and put it as a priority so we can at least, you know, tie the... When I don't know what to do, at least we, we need to assign some constructions uh, to their construction, to their respectable construction offices and whatever. This one belongs to the... Uh, not here. Let's go here. Are they empty? Dump one. Uh, where are you working? Dump one. Okay, he's probably going to refuel. Uh, yeah, micromanage. Well, uh, you know, I'm I'm just uh, I'm just bothering them when they are. Yeah, I can see this one here needs to go for. I think dump one has four vehicles. It has six now. And I'm missing from here. We have one from here. Can I do it like this? No, you're full. What about here? You are empty. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go here. You are filling in. And the last one was empty. Quickly, shipko, shipko. There we go. Big road almost done. Well, not really. Halfway through. Uh, we need a little bit of gravel. How are we doing with gravel? I, I don't follow this. Yeah, as long as they're constantly working, 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 working. Deliver gravel. You need to... You know how many border crossing issues this resolves? A lot. A lot. Because all of these trucks would be going to the border. Now they don't have to. We only have two trucks going to the border. And they're doing a really darn good job. I have absolutely no idea why they're using the mud roads rather than these. But um, actually, I don't really mind because uh, they're causing less traffic issues so i think i'm gonna leave this road for now over here and that's that's fine i really hope that you're not going to a road construction or something no fire station really well fine whatever you do you you do you uh 12 tons come on come on be empty here we go empty how many do we have here five we have four here for now with this one and i think i think i bought all the vehicles that i need to um yeah you guys need to go to the transport and transport there we go any others no free vehicles what are you delivering uh let, let's do it this way go back to this storage and you can oh right uh excavators i they're working here excavators when i see them i'm gonna transport them for now i'm gonna leave them as they as they are um, right, roads, you need to work on roads. This one is not working on roads. That's slightly worrying because I would like him to, to, to be working. So we are only working on this road. He's not working because there's no gravel delivered here. And it should be eventually at one point. Six. Okay, we don't start six. We have three here. I, I think that's it. I, we don't have any more uh, construction uh, vehicles over here. Uh, what do we have here? I'm gonna I'm gonna repurpose these with um, uh, buses. I'm gonna have three or four different bus construction offices. I'm probably gonna construct more construction offices, but this is more or less uh, this is more or less it, guys. This is what I wanted to do have as our basics. Now you can see here which trucks are standing idle. You have too many of, or you don't have enough construction projects for them. But for now, it's not enough construction projects because our city is still not done. Um, the city is not planned, and they're not working on it i should have gone for this and i will do it now uh let's play like this this is just a bypass road i will never ever 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 ever, ever. oh really <laughs> i hit this road directly i will not connect this one to the uh, i'm not gonna gravel up this one i'm just gonna remove it this is just second access so they can build these roads and that we can start on the construction of the city because we're gonna need a lot of a lot of work here it's, it's gonna, a lot of work is going to have to be done here. Okay, uh, this one is missing a couple of stuff. First of all, you're not allowed to deliver anything but trucks alone. Go deliver with trucks. Uh, you're going to have... Uh, let's go for two more excavators. And all together, you're going to have two open hulls. And you're going to be only transporting vehicles there. We have four concrete mixers, which is decent amount. Uh, I'm happy with that. Ooh, what is this? Okay, it's not... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I cannot s separate this construction office from its access because um, the, they might lose the connection to the asphalt uh, when they require asphalt and they are disconnected from it. Uh, I'm going to have to reassign it and I'll never ever ever find out that it's disconnected and it's just going to cause the issues down the line. So I'm trying to be smart about this. 
doesn't work always, but try to be smart. Okay, um, a couple of things I would like to cover. Road is almost done. We have a secondary road here. Again, we require more uh, dumper trucks. Let's see, six over here and pum pum psh, six over here. That's fine. Six, six for now. I think it's decent. Uh, I don't know if I want any more because once these roads are done, no roads are never done. The problem is like if I put more dumper trucks, it could be too much pressure on the... the, uh, the we, we just can't import any more gravel. We're going to have to have our own, but that's a story for another time. I'm not going to start getting our own gravel just because uh initially this is just serious about building us building a first city um in realistic mode i did practice this on other maps and i even wanted to practice it here you know just for my own sake but i was like why would i practice i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna show you guys that is possible and the step by step how we can uh create our own city within one year and three months i'm hoping that it's gonna be faster than this it's only one and a half past now um uh in in the game so technically it should last like over 15 episodes but i, I hope or 10 episodes i'm hoping that it's gonna be faster than that but we'll see how it goes i'm not gonna be cheating with anything mods well actually yeah modes that i'm taking and building oh Oh, by the way, the construction offices are vanilla, so you can't complain about this. No bitching about this, because I don't mind. I really don't care if we're using vanilla. Vanilla is just ugly. It just doesn't have proper purpose. A lot of vanilla buildings. I A lot of you know what I think about vanilla buildings. I'm not a vanilla, vanilla fan. I'm a modder guy. The mods out there that I know that they're working, that they're, they're better. They're more uh, better detailed. Uh, a lot of hard work goes into them, and a lot of people are investing their own time to do these mods and i might as well enjoy it and i will right um i planned some of the stuff in the city how are we doing with time i i can continue planning um let's go faster the night is just so we're not uh, we don't have any issues um right uh, what did i want to do uh, right, uh, how how it works in Uli with Uliki, how do I know what I need to construct? Uh, you can see here that this fire station is slowly going to get all the... Right? Bricks. Are you delivering stuff here? Ooh, interesting. They are not. Why are you not... Ah, oh, okay. They look like they are delivering now. Huh, interesting. Um, are you delivering? Yeah, they're delivering. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, right, how leaky, uh, like for example, we have now these two construction offices that are not busy at all, so we can go either to groundwork or dumper trucks or anywhere and start working on these. So we have here uh, the resources delivered for our construction site here for the substation. Uh, we can go and take this substation and assign, assign uh, the... Uh, let, let's do this. Let's do... No, no, I, I'll leave it as it is. Oh, right, I need uh, this groundwork and this to groundwork. there we go then um, let's go and assign this one to the substation i believe uh, that's going to be an important one uh and we need to put it as a priority substation priority the second one is high voltage wires really uh, there's more i thought i assigned it so we can assign this one to high voltage wires which one are they oh it's medium voltage is it Oh, it's medium, it's medium, my bad. Here we go, we can do the wires. So we can start with this. Uh, I'm waiting for this road to be finished because I'm going to assign the heating plant as well to be finished. Uh, we have this access road over here that I'm probably going to be um, uh, using for starting to construct the city. Uh, but also when this road is done, we can do that. This is just additional access for the road construction so our dumper trucks can continue draining our gravel resources. Um, I want to offer my people, my workers, uh, or my trucks, uh, better access, uh, by better bypass first, so build these uh, bypass first and then upgrade these roads, but <laughs> by the time I'm done with that, we already don't need this road because a lot of these construction offices are going to be removed. I can do that here and now, for example, um, uh, these guys here with the roads. I'm, I'm not gonna mess with that now. I'm, I'm fine with this. I understand how it works. Let's just call them like this. Uh, bus... Bus 3? Yeah, let's go with bus 3. And I'm gonna rename this one. I wanted to I wanted to know, put them as the three first ones, but this is good enough as well. This is bus 2... Bus 2. This is going to be bus 1. Well, actually, we can put it in operation straight away. So, this is not auto-selecting anything. Remove all the constructions. Uh, bus 
boss one, and then you're gonna need, oh darn, I always hit this, oh no, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, click, this is, this is the logic, logical, exactly what we need to do, uh, one by one, and we need only workers here, and I can get all the vehicles straight away, so let's go and get the uh, one, two, three, my favorite Polish little buses, and uh, we need a road crane, a uh, different color, why the hell not, let's, let's have some fun, let's have colorful life. That's it, uh, construction offices are done, we'll see another one or two of them uh, well, soon-ish enough, I, we're gonna need footpaths, but um, yeah, I, I, can, I can start on that. I can start on that. Um, how long do we need to finish this road? Ah, a few more. Probably I can do it in the next episode. I was thinking of footpath office is gonna be needed. Uh, I want to repurpose some of these for the footpath office. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Why, why don't I? Why, why don't I just do it? Uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. So we have these uh, these guys here. So let's go for uh, roads. No, just footpaths. Just footpaths. This three kilometers. Uh, all of this stuff that you have here is non-valid something. Uh, we need dumper trucks, but we need small ones. Uh, one, two, I think two dumper trucks and two buses are gonna be enough. One, two. And then we need uh, this one to remove concrete and gravel needs to be taken. I don't know. Let's just go with the upper one. There we go. Upper one is gonna take gravel, and this is only gonna be constructing footpaths, and uh, they're gonna get the little vehicles delivered now. So we have a small footpath office here. Might be, might be good enough. We'll see if we need a second one. Uh, I can also create an additional construction office, but no need for now. Um, these guys here, uh, they might need the uh, vehicles. So let's see if I can do this. Um, open hull, small one is uh, Škoda, small Škoda is, is good enough. So small Škoda here to deliver these vehicles. There we go, 400,000 on minus. We spent 400,000 in constructing all of this stuff here, but bear in mind that, no, there's nothing expensive here. High voltage power cables, that's expensive. Uh, then I just continue adding construction to construction site. So there's a priority and just continue doing that. Uh, seriously, where's the other ones? They're probably refueling. I'm gonna say that they're refueling. That's it. This is the first episode of the Realistic series. Uh, initially, it's gonna be a tutorial how to build a city, and I um, already made this tutorial short, but uh, a lot of you don't believe me. Oh, well, a lot of you. Uh, some of you may, might not believe me, so let's do it here. Look, if we're gonna start a new series, it's gonna start like this. It's gonna be a Realistic series. It's gonna start exactly like this. So... Why the hell not? Maybe we can just continue building this series. If not, if there's another beautiful map that I think that we can work on, uh, I'm gonna start doing that. We're gonna just stop this series after we are done building the city and uh, go for a new map. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description in the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.